mission. Hey, what's up guys, Bunch Fire Storm, and uh, welcome to Pokemon Shield, episode 14 if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just gonna talk to someone so I can sing up the audio. After I'm done spinning. Your Pokemon really got stuck in and did their best for you, didn't they? When I watched your match, I was the one who ended up feeling fired up to carry on. That's good. And also our, uh, where is our fan? Our fan is not here. Anyways, this episode, we're probably going to go into the walled area to make our way to Hammerlock. Hammerlock. But first, we have an encounter. Hurry up, room fire. Huh? You're a gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who will be the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never managed to get three gym matches, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Phew, we made it. Thank goodness for flying taxi. I don't know who's saying that. Runefire, hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym leaders are able to get a gym veteran Kabu. We have to get it together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So let me send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, hustle, hop. You can do it, you can do it, room fire. Ah, yes. This, there's no sporty chant like that one. Okay, that didn't rhyme at all, man. Like, seriously? We gotta work on it some more? The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents. Believe me, I will I will struggle with Alistair, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're gonna keep winning. We've got to if we wanna fa wanna face off in the champion cup after all. Come on, Rimfire, let's have a hammerlock. Hello again, Walder, you my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Room fire. Hammerlock's up that way, got it? And yeah, you could certainly rush straight through there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badge, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page in the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts, it's not like either of you would never make it to the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems here, this hop here can't even throw a Pokeball perf properly. Rubbish, more like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not gonna listen to you insulting them, insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that'll, that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. Your aunt, then. I know you challenged Runefire to battle and got Galar mine number two and lost him there. And I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're being me. All this proud about Runefire and a champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? I'll show this, wa this Wally my real skills in battle. So see you later, Runefire. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. Well, this starts Hop's downfall for reals this time. Anyways, we're gonna press on. This is Garbodor. I don't think, I think it's like level 40 or maybe, I don't know. We wanna train Hot to Claire. Uh, Lifeherd. Oh. 
Palpitoad. I don't have a good water type, do I? Anyways, let's check out this raid done. Oh, it's Morini. That's not a bad choice, to be honest. But I want something that can just because that thing is gonna get destroyed by Alistair. Ooh, Phalanx! I can get a Phalanx right now, but also there's a, there's a Corvette right there, but I can't catch it. A lot of Palpitoads. I just ran into that tree. Alright, press on. Ah, uh, Snorlax. Drapion. Great Ball. Okay, then. That's a weird place to put a Great Ball. King Calder. Another great ball. Some watts. A Maractus, okay. What is that? This is a zigzagoon, right? Ball toy. If it's not too high of a level. It's really high of a level. Okay, well it didn't take that long to run away. I need to train up to level 30 though. Stunning bite. Oh, we absolutely destroyed it. Double team, huh? Please hit. Yes. I swear, it's always bite and wing attack. Still kind of quite impressed in my uh, hot declare. They able to destroy level 29s. Well, level 20 no, no bats, but and it fell. It's staying there, but I'm not sure how long it's gonna hold.
Uh, is there another Noi Bat? And it fell. Of course it did. Okay, please stay. There's Cuban right there. Jar honey. So over here is actually a breeding place again. And yes, there are two places to breed Pokemon in the game. Which... Oh, and that's Squirtle's Evolution, which is not my favorite Pokemon in this generation. It's actually not that hard to get, uh... Was that Noivern? It's Tranquil. Uh, there's one raid battle over there. Let's see if I can do that one. That's a Corvid Knight. That's a Tranquil. Run away from the Tranquil. Oh, that's a Dwebble. Is that really my avatar? Okay, I think this default or something. We'll switch to... Let's just, let's just go with it. Breaker. Okay, we're faster apparently. We destroyed half their health apparently. Nice. I may as well try to catch it, cause uh... I'm gonna end up having a crystal anyway. Probably. Okay, you know what, I'm not sure I'm gonna do the Pokedex thing. Cause this LP is gonna go way too long. Nice. Okay, I won't catch it. I don't really want to catch it. All you do is to, uh, to pass the areas to go up here. Not here, here, but like to the left. Why are there pumpkaboos here? I don't think that makes any lick of sense. I saw an item. Kinda swore I saw an item. Yeah, right there. Revive. Ah, a gym challenge. Allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge. The water badge. The end of fire badge. It's confirmed that you defeated three gym leaders, including the leader of Mudasoak. 
I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he could look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Here, just look at the gym badges I've already won. Thank you, Challenger B. I can confirm you have the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. And we're going to the Dragon's Mouth, as you do. We're gonna go to Hammerlock, which is basically the base of operations. And a pretty large town, bigger than even Motosope. Look at that. Dragon wings, or some rib cage, I don't know. Intestines. Ah, annoy bet. How fitting in Hammerlock. And there's a dragon head, which I never seen before because I wasn't paying attention when I saw this cutscene. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing star and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Pete. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you. Right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the few. It's for the future of the whole Gala region. And we need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer too. Someone like the champion. With all, if, with all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion door trainers, just how uh, outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That spirit? It takes healthy count competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenge B, there's something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? What are you wearing, man? I hope you were listening, Moonfire. As you know, Wishing Stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to Wishing Stars than just making your Pokemon to giants, though. They have far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a, lesson on, a little lesson on how the Gala region gets its energy. Heal first. <laughs> By dust balls. We'll buy a few. Oh, I might want this. So I don't get this one. Is this just using a rod or something? Or is it just on water types? It says underwater. Is it just for diving? Because that's not in the right game. And actually at that point, Beast Ball wouldn't make sense either. We actually want to go up here first, because there is a secret thing we can do. A little mission, if you will. And a strawberry sweet. And a red candy. Uh, hello there. You look like someone I might trust. You think there's something- so there's someone I fancy, and I- I- I've written him a love letter. You think you might deliver it for me? Of course. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I found someone like you to help me. My name is Paula. Here you are. This is the letter I want you to deliver. Deliver it to Frank for you, for me, won't you? Frank and Balonlia. Balonlia. That's who you want. It's all fun and games until you realize what this is for. It's his taxes. She's been holding on to his taxes all this time. Come on, you can just get his taxes, like, personally? Ugh, you have to make someone else do it. Okay, I clearly don't know what taxes are, but if we go into this house here, we can get a very... 
Okay, that boy on the, on the right actually tells you what your happiness is. But I think it's over here. Wait, no, 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 it's the one on the right. A dire hit. Yes, that's what I was going for. Not you. That's the Motostoke. I think it is a Motostoke. Here we go. Let's get a free Pokeball. Maybe it's not a Motostoke. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Hammerlock. You can get a Soothe Bell somewhere. Super Repel. Hyper Potion, wow, they're just giving that to us like, like candy. This item here. Two X attacks. A Team Yell with a Lanoon. Oh, here it is. Here's a Pledge Guy. If you have this guy, you can have your starter. Actually, only you just have to have a starter, but it doesn't have to be your starter. It could be someone who traded it to you. But he will give you a pledge move for each corresponding type, and you can use them as a combo. But I don't know where where the soothe bell is. I could have sworn it was hammerlock, unless it is actually. Okay, another Team Yell member. You and your Pokemon had the potential to become great friends. You hear your Pokemon- Okay, it is. It is. You hear your Pokemon hold this item, your friendship will make grow even stronger. Soothe Bell! Have Pokemon hold a suit bell, and that Pokemon will grow friendly faster than normal. Than normal. I think like, does it like double your friendship per whatever you do, or is it double your friendship on level up? Hemlock Stadium doubles its energy plants. Now have a look at my tablet. I got all the information you need on it. See? An easy to understand description of the energy plant. First energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium Tower. Then it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Our lives in society require various types of energy sources such as electricity, natural gas, and water. When such a group's attempt aim Attempt. Aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power. Story of Wishing Stars. Oh, it's time for me to get back get to work. I should get a move on before Orlina decides to give me an, another earful. Moonfire suggests you head over to the vaults next. Just head toward Route 6 from the stadium and you should find the vaults without any issues. That's the ball guy first. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mates, the ball guy! Looks like you managed to level all your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect Pokeball to celebrate the occasion. A level ball. A level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher your Pokemon level is compared to the opposing wall of Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch it. Pokeballs are just full of surprise, don't you think? 
So I'm trying to plan out my strategy for Alistair because his G-Max Gengar is not fun to destroy. It's not easy to defeat. It is fun to destroy, but no, but... He will basically one-shot all my Pokemon as they are now. I think his ace is level 35. Which means we're gonna have to... We're gonna keep going to the vault here, but... Okay, we're not gonna talk with Leon. Roomfire seems to be doing well collecting gym badges. Bop. Did something happen with him? He's acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me, and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. Probably the first time I heard him apologize for anything. I have no idea what it was for. Maybe he's feeling down because he's had some hard losses in battle? When you lose, you feel down in dumps. But then there's nowhere left to go back up. You gotta think of why it was you why it was you lost him. You know that little brother of mine. I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Blast, and look at the time. I nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Alina really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now if only I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say you should go and say hello to Raihan while you're here, Burnfire. He's the greatest rival I got and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. You should still be around the vaults if you hurry. It's down that way, on the way to Route 6. Alright, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we're going to go to the vault. And maybe the episode after that, we'll do some training. Alright, so that's I say. See you guys, and stay safe.